Hi, I'm Casey Pope with Amico. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about our Hydro Dry moisture management system. If you've watched any of the other videos in the series, you know that Hydro Dry is a series of profiles designed to create a drainable and breathable wall cavity in your exterior walls. Today we're going to be looking specifically at the Hydro Dry drain screed and how to integrate it into your wall at the base. This, this part is designed to take the place of a traditional foundation weave screen. What we're going to do is walk through the process of how to tie this into the weather plane, waterproof the top so that any moisture that gets behind your weather resistant barrier is shed out, down, and away from your wall and foundation. Remember that Hydro Dry is all about creating a drainable and breathable wall cavity so that your stucco or thin stone veneer you can eradicate or mitigate moisture quickly and efficiently. What our process is going to look like today for installing the drain screen will involve getting the building wrap up and out of our way so we have access to the OSB that's behind it. We're going to apply the drain screen directly to the OSB. We're going to use the pre-punched attachment holes which are located at four inches on uh, every four inches which really helps with the 16 on center stud location. Once we attach them we're going to come back with our peel and stick flashing and tie this nail fin into the plane of the OSB. That way any water that either hits the weather, the weather resistant barrier or gets behind it still sheds down and out and away from the foundation. Now typically on a job site not everything is in equal you know, 10 foot lengths which is what the hydro drive profiles will come in as a standard. So we've included in the box our universal connectors. There are 10 of these in each box and these are actually so that you can take end cuts and join them together to make longer runs or if you need a 20 foot run or a 30 foot run you can join a couple of sticks together. They're universal connectors because this connector not only works with the foundation weave screed or our hydro drive drain screed but it also works with our mid wall ultra drain and drip edge product. When the universal connector first comes out of the box it can be pretty rigid so you're going to want to squeeze it just a couple of times with your hand to get some flexibility and then you're ready to insert it and join your parts. So it's designed to mimic the profile of the trough and the drain screen. So it slides in the end just like that. And then you take your other part, whether it's an end cut or a full on your new 10 foot stick. You're gonna have this one. Creating a nice joint. So now that we've got our part assembled, we're ready to go ahead and apply it to the wall. So I'm just gonna lift our building paper up out of the way. So I have access to the plywood or OSB sheathing material that's behind. So now that we've got our building paper and our rain screen out of our way, we can access our OSB or our plywood to apply our drain screen. So now I'm gonna apply our peel and stick flashing to the nail fin portion of the hydro drive drain screen. This is really just so that if any water gets behind the weather resistant barrier, it will find a path down gravity fit and my peel and stick flashing will make sure that that water goes down and out of my drain screen. It's not overly important that you get this all the way down into the drainage trough. You really just want to cover the nail fin and any gaps. Smooth it out to make sure there are no collection points for water and when you come to a corner wrap it around nice and tight and onto your next piece of drain screen. So I've got my peel and stick flashing on. I've tied it into the nail fin of my drain screen. Now I'm gonna wrap my peel and stick corner just around the corners here. So when you're applying the drain screen, it's important to remember you're gonna to wanna to cut your pieces at a 45 degree miter, whatever angle you're, you're going into. That can be done on an interior or an exterior miter. Depends on how your corners shape. But you wanna make sure that it comes out and then goes all the way around and returns you to the next side of your building probably better to use a compound miter saw or a hand saw to cut this. I wouldn't recommend using snips, it's a pretty complicated profile and cutting it with snips is difficult. So now that we have gotten our corners addressed and our nail fin is tied into our OSB, we're going to go ahead and let our building paper fall back down. So now that we've got our hydro dry drain screen integrated into the weather barrier, I've lapped our building paper, our WRB, back down over it. 
And you can see here, I left it a little bit short of the drainage trough. I wanted to be sure not to clog the drainage holes that exist down in my drain screen. And then to apply my rain screen, I'm just gonna let that fall back down. I have this flap, which is gonna act as a bug screen as well. I just tuck it underneath. And then run it down into my drainage trough all the way across my living. So what I've done now is created both a shiplap weather plane. So any water that gets behind my drain screen is gonna flow down the wall into my hydro dry drain screen through the drainage trough and then out my drainage path. So now that the rain screen is terminated appropriately in my drainage trough on my drain screen, we created a wall cavity that's gonna allow any water that gets behind your exterior cladding down, out and away.